Hello friends. I wanted to do a quick video today about getting Resident Evil 3 working on Linux through Proton. So I had some problems with it. It wouldn't launch or it would give me a weird error. So I wanted to kind of go through the steps and this kind of works on a lot of different uh, programs, um, games. So let's get into it. Um, first what we're going to need is a custom version of Proton and you can install these into Steam. Um, the one we're going to be using is 5.5 GE-1. You'll just go to Glorious Egg Roll, look at his releases on GitHub, expand assets and download the, uh, the tar, tar file there. I already have it so I'm not going to do that but once you do that you're gonna go to now let's start a new new tab here so once you have it in your downloads you're gonna transfer it to typically it's gonna be dot in your home folder dot steam root compatibilitytools.d if it's not there already go ahead and add it and see I've got the the tar file there and there it is right there all unpacked the next thing we're going to want to download is the media foundation install cab you just go to their github and they don't have a Dilly down here, just go up here to clone or download and download the zip. And I already have that as well, so it's right here. So the only thing you're gonna have to like copy out of here is this mfplat.dll file, and we'll get into that a little bit later. For right now, we're gonna go to Wherever you install your Steam games, I have it on a separate hard drive or SSD, whatever. You might have yours in your uh, your dot .home, the dot .steam folder. I think that's where it is uh, by default. But anyway, you're going to go into um, Steam, Steam apps, and compat data. And if you've already launched Resident Evil, it's going to show up in here as the folder 952060. Here, I'll make this a little bigger. The one I have highlighted here. And if you've already messed around with it, go ahead and just rename that. And to like dot back or whatever. And then go ahead and try to launch it, uh, Resident Evil again, without any uh, configurations that you've tried or anything. Just try to launch it as it is and get rid of any uh, here. Yeah, and get rid of any like launch options that you have in there and you know untick force and all that and when it errors out it'll create that folder again and we'll just be running on a clean slate so that's the one you want is the uh, 952060 that's the the wine container for the or the proton container whatever all right so now that you got all that stuff downloaded you're gonna get into your command line and CD into that MF install cab that you uh, extracted. So there we are. If we do an LS, we get all our files there. So next, this command that's gonna be different for everybody here, let me make this bigger.
Can I fit it all in there? Nah, but that's fine. So the command's going to be proton equals, and then that's going to be the path to the proton we just installed. And then line prefix, that's going to be that folder we were just at, plus slash pfx on the end of it. And all that's in quotes. And then space, and you're going to do the dot install mf64, and then put attack proton on the end of that. And I'll run that just to show you what it does. Okay, so after you run that, it tells you right here you need to move that mfplat.dll into the application directory, which just means take that, copy it, go into the common folder where you install your stuff, into the Resident Evil 3 folder, and just paste it in there. And mine's already in there, so. So the reason why Resident Evil doesn't seem to work very well is because of videos that play during cutscenes, like in, like it could be a video that's playing on like one of the, the computer monitors in the the office. I think that's what it is in the Star's office. It would always break for me there, and even if I was running it on. Um, Steam's version of Proton 5.0.5, I think. But anyway, if you go to Steam again, and this time you're going to want to force the use of 5.5 GE1. If that's not showing up, you might need to just restart Steam. And another thing you're going to want to do is for set launch options. You're going to type proton underscore use set comp equals one percent command percent. And then if you launch it, then it should work just fine. And I kind of want to show you where I got all this information because if you're here, chances are maybe you haven't heard of ProtonDB. It's a really awesome site. You just Go on, you search for the game you want to play. Resident Evil 3. And then you have just all sorts of people reporting different things. And some of them are like what I had to do was I had to combine a bunch of these to get mine to work. So that might be what you need to do too. Like some people had to set separate flags for their AMD GPU which I don't have one so I'm not even I never even messed with that so where was that yeah if you just go down here I mean and most people are pretty good at either giving you steps or links and yeah this person says DirectX 11 works the best if you set it up in the game um, I don't remember what I have set up. Let's look. One thing I will add, though, is the game isn't necessarily totally completable. You can get to the very last cutscene, but it'll it'll crash on you. But you can complete all the gameplay. All right, so options, graphics. Okay, yeah, I do have DirectX 11 selected. And I don't know, for some weird reason, it's got 5.54 gigabyte out of 11. My card has 11. <laughs> I don't know what that is all about. leave here yes quit 
So yeah, if you go through those steps, you should be good to go. Um, that's it.